Avalanche is a blockchain that can easily link up with Ethereum so that you can use Ethereum dApps for a much lower cost. We already have Ethereum dApps like Aave integrating with Avalanche, so you can bridge over your Ethereum-based ERC20 tokens to Avalanche and start benefiting from those lower fees. In this video, we'll go through setting up an Avalanche wallet, linking Avalanche to a MetaMask wallet, which is actually really quick and easy. Then we'll see how to bridge over assets from Ethereum onto the Avalanche C chain using the Avalanche bridge so that we can go ahead and use those apps with Avalanche. Every section of the video is listed in the video description and have a look down there for some extra resources and links to other helpful videos as well. Let's come over to uh, the MetaMask page, which you can see right here. So really important is that we need to add Avalanche to MetaMask. You don't absolutely require an Avalanche wallet. You can link the Avalanche blockchain to your MetaMask first and then go ahead, get some tokens in there and use some applications. So we'll do that first. The first thing you need to do is add the Avalanche chain to MetaMask though. And you can actually come to the help pages. Um, so this is Avalanche uh, documents. You can search for this on Google and it will actually tell you how to do it. But really important is essentially this information right here that we'll need to add it to our MetaMask. So Let's go back to the MetaMask. I'm on my Ethereum mainnet right now. Come up to the top right hand corner um, and then just click custom RPC and it will take you through to this page. Now we can see we need to enter some info and basically we need to enter Avalanche's information. I've already done it as you can see down here, but you can come over to the help page and you can see network name is the Avalanche network, new RPC URL and just copy this in. Chain ID is 43114, so come back, put chain ID 43114 in here. Sim, uh, currency symbol is AVAX. So come back, you can see the currency symbol is AVAX. You can put the Explorer in there as well. You don't need to, um, but you can do that. So once all that information is entered in here, you just click on save and that will add the network for you. And as you can see, I have Avalanche network in here. You can do this for other chains as well. I've done it for Polygon with the Matic network right here and then uh, Smart Chain, which is Binance Smart Chain. Once that's added, just come back to the MetaMask homepage and you might still be on the Ethereum mainnet. So what we have to do is click in the right hand corner, come down to uh, Avalanche network right here. So click on that. This is now the Avalanche portion of my MetaMask. So this links up with Avalanche and all of the tokens in there. You actually have the same uh, address. So your MetaMask wallet address is actually the same and Avalanche can use that to send tokens too. It isn't the mainnet chain though, it isn't the Ethereum chain. So what you'll see here is that I actually have some AVAX tokens that I sent before and also US dollar tether dot E, which is the, uh, the version of US dollar tether on the Avalanche network. So even though you're using an Ethereum address, you can't send Ethereum tokens to this. The way that we know that is essentially when we copy in our address right here and send some tokens over, it will definitely recognize that we're on the Avalanche network. So we're gonna to come to depositing some tokens into our MetaMask first. So like I said, you don't need an Avalanche wallet to use applications. And actually most applications still require you to have a MetaMask. So uh, we're gonna do that first. So we're gonna come over uh, into our wallet. So you can see I'm, I'm on Binance right here um, and I have some AVAX tokens. So what we need to do is copy our address in. So go back to uh, your MetaMask wallet, just click copy, make sure you're in the AVAX wallet right here. Go back to Binance. I'm just gonna enter my address and I press paste. And then what you can see is there's a network. So we have to select the network address and actually it comes up already essentially with the AVAX C chain or the Binance Smart Chain. We don't wanna use the Binance Smart Chain. You can see that the Ethereum main chain isn't an option, right? So we have to click AVAX C chain. You can see arrival time is naught minutes and the gas fee is very, very low, about 65 cents. So if you just click on that uh, and then choose the amount that you want to send, then you'll have to go through that process with your exchange, whether it's Binance or Coinbase Pro or KuCoin. Uh, and if you don't have exchange accounts with them, I'll list them below uh, so you can get some AVAX tokens. This is the quickest way to get them and then transfer them into your wallet. And then once that's done, I'll come back and show you what we can do next. Next, we can set up an Avalanche wallet. Why would you need an Avalanche wallet if MetaMask can do everything on the C chain and use applications anyway? Well, if you wanna stake AVAX on the blockchain and use the other chains, 
then you're gonna have to have an Avalanche wallet. So you can come to the Avalanche wallet, just search for it in Google, come up to create new wallet, then you're gonna have to generate key phrase. This is gonna give you 24 words and you have to write those down and keep them safe because if you ever lose access to the wallet or if you need to set up the wallet on a different computer, you'll need those keywords uh, to put in to actually access the wallet. So write them down and keep them somewhere safe. So that, that would be generate key phrase and then just go through the on-screen steps. I'm gonna access my wallet right here. So actually what you can do is put your wallet onto a ledger, hardware wallet or other options right here. I'm just gonna click on uh, the wallet name and then just put a password in. So this is my password going into the wallet. This wallet is completely separate to your MetaMask, so it's not the same address. If you send tokens to your MetaMask wallet, you won't see them in here because they're different wallets on the blockchain. So if you want tokens in your MetaMask and your Avalanche wallet, you have to do two separate deposits. You can see up here that we actually have three chains. We have the X chain, we have the P chain, and we have the C chain. The X chain is, as you can see, uh, somewhere that you can send funds to. So if you want kind of an address that is private and it changes every time to keep your privacy quite high, then use the X chain. The address that you can use and people can send to will change each time you use it. So it just is a way for you to receive some tokens. The P chain is what we use with staking. So if you want to stake some AVAX, you'll have to have some tokens on the P chain. And the C chain is the smart contracts chain. This is the chain that interacts with the Ethereum virtual machine. You're still gonna need MetaMask to interact with applications, so I would recommend that. On the left-hand side, you can see send. If you have some tokens in your wallet and you want to send it to a different address, you can do that here. You can choose the X or the C chain, as you can see, enter the amount, and then enter the wallet address that you want to send to right here. So that could be your MetaMask wallet, for example, if you want to get some tokens off your AVAX wallet and into your MetaMask wallet. Cross-chain, as you can see, you can actually send from one AVAX chain to another. So if you have some tokens in your X chain, you can send it over to the P chain or whatever. You can see the source chain right here. So you can just click with whichever uh, one that you have the tokens on, click the chain that you want to send them to, click the amount. There might be a fee to swap it over and then click confirm. So that's how you get AVAX tokens between chains in your AVAX wallet. If you want to go and stake some AVAX tokens, we can do that as well. So you just come over to the Earn tab right here, and it says if you have at least 2,000 AVAX and also have a node, then you can do that here. Most of us are gonna delegate, so if you have any AVAX tokens in your wallet, you need to get them over to the P chain, and then once they're there, you can see you can add delegate right here. So add a delegation, and you can basically start stake, uh, staking AVAX on the blockchain and start receiving staking rewards. Next up is the Avalanche Bridge. This is the way that you get some tokens from your Ethereum wallet, so some ERC20 tokens from Ethereum, over to the Avalanche chain. So Avalanche cannot house ERC20 tokens, you're gonna to have to bridge them over. You can come to the Avalanche Bridge, I think it's bridge.avax.network, and essentially link up your MetaMask wallet that you have some ERC20 tokens in. Now. Unfortunately, because we're gonna to have to use the Ethereum network here, we're gonna to have to pay Ethereum fees. So bridging over tokens is gonna to be expensive. So what I would do, you know, any tokens that you have in your Ethereum wallet, you can choose them here. So let's just choose Aave, for example. And it says if you uh, bridge over more than $75 worth of any token, AVAX or the Avalanche network will actually send you an airdrop. That means they'll basically give you a bonus of AVAX tokens to try and mitigate some of the costs of actually you know, using the Ethereum chain. So you'd have to link up your MetaMask, MetaMask wallet, Ethereum mainnet wallet in the top right, click the token that you wanna send over, click the amount, then make sure it's going to Avalanche, see the estimated fee, which will probably quite high, be quite high on Ethereum, and then click transfer. That will move the ERC20 token over to a different type of token on the Avalanche chain. And you can see that most Avalanche chain tokens use the normal ticker and then put dot E after it. And that means that it's a different type of token that is actually on the Avalanche chain in your Avalanche wallet. Really important to know when you bridge tokens from Ethereum to Avalanche, you have to pay Ethereum gas fees. When you do it the other way around, you also have to pay Ethereum gas fees and Avalanche are gonna charge you that. So when you bridge tokens back and forth, you're always having to pay fees. Therefore, I would suggest a cheaper way of doing this is literally just buying AVAX tokens on a centralized exchange for low fees, 
getting those AVAX tokens over to your C-Chain wallet in MetaMask, and then using a DEX on Avalanche to actually go and swap into Avalanche tokens. You're gonna to be paying much lower fees and you won't be paying any Ethereum gas fees. That's an option, but if you already have Ethereum ERC20 tokens in your wallet, then you might wanna use this option. Remember that I sent some AVAX tokens from my Binance to my MetaMask C-Chain address, and that's what we're gonna look at now. So I actually have those. Uh, I'm just gonna switch over, uh, so switch to Avalanche Chain, yes. So I can go into my MetaMask, make sure that I'm on uh, the Avalanche Chain. I'm on the Ethereum mainnet right now, so I'm just gonna click Switch Network. Make sure that my MetaMask is set up on the Avalanche Network. And you can see I should have some tokens in here, and it does show me that I have 1.18, so that is the one Avalanche or so that I sent over. So. This is for me a cheaper way without paying a gear, uh, Ethereum gas fees of actually getting some tokens to use on the Avalanche network. So for example, we can click AVAX and I'm gonna actually select a token to kind of swap that into. So you can see all of the .e tokens. So I know that these are all on the Avalanche network. Um, and very simply, I'm gonna go and search US dollar tether. Um, so click USDT right here. And I'm just gonna put in an amount, so 0.4. Uh, and that's about $28. So we can hit swap right here, just confirm swap. Uh, price change to confirm swap right here. That should go through, just gonna have to confirm that with my MetaMask wallet. You can see that the fees are pretty low on there. If you wanna see the transaction, you can actually go through and view on the C Chain Explorer. So you can see the transaction. I don't need to do that. I'll just wait for that to go through. So now what we're doing is getting that AVAX tokens into something like USDT. Dot e so we can use it on Avalanche. You can see that's gone through up here. So that was way quicker than Ethereum and way cheaper. I've now got about $28 um, in of USDT actually in my wallet, so in my MetaMask wallet. I'm not using the Avalanche wallet right now. So now what I wanna do is actually go and deposit those on some DeFi. So you can use something like Aave for sure, and we have an Avalanche market on Aave now. So let's just enter the application right here and see how that would work. So yes, we have different types of tokens on Aave. These aren't ERC20 tokens. I'm gonna go and actually deposit. So what I wanna do is come to deposit and then click on the USDT.E that I've just bought. You can see the wallet recognizes that I have some AVAX and also those tokens. So I'm earning 7% plus 10% incentive uh, from Avalanche Network as well for using the network. So that's a 17% yield right here on this. So I'm gonna click uh, max. So I'm gonna put all of those USDT into the Arvo protocol, click continue right here, uh, click deposit. Then I'm just gonna to have to go and use the network. So pay a small fee in AVAX tokens. Make sure you always have some more AVAX tokens in your wallet to pay for fees. Otherwise you won't be able to do anything else. So always have a buffer of some AVAX tokens to actually pay for that. That will just go through on the blockchain. Whilst we're waiting for that, you can actually use a different application called Benchy. And this is kind of Aave, but it's on the Avalanche chain. So it's kind of like Avalanche Network's own version of Aave. So it's a liquidity protocol, same sort of thing. Go to launch app and then just link up your wallet. It has to be the MetaMask one. You should be able to see how many tokens that you have. And then you can just click on supply very easily. So if you've got, you know, USDT, USD, uh, C.E or any of the other tokens, obviously you can click max right here. That will be a supply. So you can click deposit and you can see the deposit APY is 11% plus incentives of 6% in AVAX tokens. So you don't have to use Aave, you can use Benchy or something like that. But once it's gone through, you can see on Aave that has gone through. So I'll just go to my dashboard and I have some extra USDT tokens earning those yields in Aave. That is really the basics of setting up Avalanche on MetaMask, the Avalanche wallet, and using some DeFi. If you need some more specific guides, all of those are linked in the description for you. You can check out the MoneyZG Crypto Investor course as well, linked in the description, and Binance and KuCoin if you wanna go ahead and buy some Avalanche. I'm James, it's MoneyZG, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.